Today on The Freezes, the journey continues into southern Utah. We think this location is going to blow you guys away. I highly, highly recommend it. One that's going in the book for sure. That spot is ours. Here we go. Wait till you see the spot. We love it. Dara and I are in the middle of scouting the area as we speak. That's where we're going to start today's video and let's jump right in. We're scouting for free spots, you know, boondocking, semi-free. I mean, we're looking for free spots. So we're off to the highway dispersed camping. This area is top-notch cool. We would uh, love to be back here, but we may be able to stay real close, but there's one more spot we're gonna check out. We're gonna pick which one and head there in the morning. We're at the highway dispersed location and we got one huge grand uh, design solitude over here but this pretty steep up here to get to this area. Honey, this is uh, freaking awesome up here. Super nice up here. There's some more camping uh, going on down there in the valley. We might risk this spot, but this is a very steep hill. Our stuff in our kitchen cabinet is gonna freak out. Although it's extremely gorgeous, very treacherous. So, we're gonna keep going around on this side. There was a more flat spot that's just as cool. I mean, not actually, that's probably the coolest spot, but we're not gonna risk hurting anything to get up there. There's a spot right over here with an airstream already. And here's that spot. There's plenty of room and we can give that other airstream plenty of space here. Look at that view so we can continue to add these awesome spots to our, what would you call it, our arsenal? Yes. Our little black book of secret spots. Our little secret pocket. Look at that guy filling up the generator. Free dump, baby. some smart fellers out there we got four of us free camping bunch of smarties look at that view for free we'll take it these bike trails just keep blowing us away these little hiking trails Look at this, we just found this uh, this little wash. I think it might be a, a river. I don't know the name of it. Just look how gorgeous this whole place is. I guarantee you, there's just some killer hikes up in here. We're about to take our bikes a little bit further up that way. has been incredible. So cool, I don't um, even know where we are. We're next to the White House campground. Right, actually we were on our way just to check out some of their spots again. And uh, here we are, it's really amazing. So the sand down here is pretty compact, but there are some spots that are pretty loose. Just another hidden gem, I mean, we're surrounded by this gorgeous stuff here in this area. But wow, what a, what a cool free spot. Uh, yeah, amazing. Okay, so there's this spot that we've been scoping out for like the last three days since we've been in this area. Well, a guy just passed us and he has a topper. So we're not sure if he's a camper or not, but we think we're gonna try to rush back, get Johnny, and hope it stays open for us. If not, we're still gonna move to a better spot. That spot is ours. <laughs> We gotta go get Johnny. We're on hustle mission. Here we go. Wait till you see the spot. We love it. We are going to get hooked up as fast as possible 
and we are gonna get to our new spot, which is down the road. That's right near the river. We got limited time because it's Saturday. We need to act quickly. Tucked between Page, Arizona and Kanab, Utah on Highway 89 is a tiny little road called White House Road. Turn in, you're gonna see the boondocking area is right to the right, and that's where we ended up staying for the first few nights. The next location also has no camping fee, but Dara and I truly believe this is the crown jewel of this area. So let's go check it out. All right guys, right here where these trees are is where we're headed. This little spot is so awesome. We are out here pretty much in the middle of nowhere. There is a campground down that way but a little bit too small for Johnny. This may be a little too small for Johnny. Uh, we stayed a few nights out by the highway and now we're moving on into the interior, not quite to the campground, but there's a spot about halfway between and that's what we're heading to right now. Look at the trees out here. I mean, people think that you don't get to see the change of colors out here in Utah and Arizona, but perfect example we're gonna be in this beautiful canopy of greens yellows and oranges and it's just it's changed so much in the last three days that we've been here oh. and there's water right down here so can't wait to share more with this one so we're gonna get the walkies and go assist outside <laughs> for Sergi, this big old gorgeous tree, lovely little views of the cliffs all around us. There is another full spot actually for a camper. This is the loop to get around. There's even kind of a little pull up there. You can make it work, especially if you know each other. And then this full spot here, we are considering just back in Johnny in, but <laughs> we wanted to have the water and everything. You can't go wrong with either spot out here. It's got a uniqueness all its own and uh, I mean just look at this view right here. Just look at that. One other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that it does pay to have extra extra stacker blocks. Um, you know, some people use these as levelers. I use these um, as support underneath my stabilizer jacks. That's what I use them personally for. But when you're on an angle such as this, it really helps to have extra blocks. Now you can see over here, I'm already into that goat head bush right there. But over on this side, we are way far off the ground and I needed some major support on the front end. Sometimes you don't get this lucky and you need this much on the front and then some for some reason, the back end still needs some as well. So having a few sets of those blocks really comes in handy and something that if you have the space, it's worth investing in. I am fairly certain I just heard a fish down in here. We are about ready to walk this river. Uh, you can see I have my water shoes on. We got those for the ocean, mainly for Dare, because she is a fear of aquatic creatures touching her skin while she's in the water. Oh yeah, that's that's really cold. There she got it. I gotta angle this better. Kanab, Utah. Kanab, look at our spot.
Can't wait to spend our first night here. See how the, the night sky passes over us and the star laps tonight. It should be really fun. so far happy anniversary honey happy anniversary this spot was amazing the trees are changing these huge cottonwoods are awesome i can't believe the river's running in the desert Sergi had a little swim spot the biking and hiking here is phenomenal but we love this spot i mean look at it over here it is fantastic we had oh, our dartboard still up this huge tree Probably the most that we've spent outside at a camp spot, to be honest with you. And then this has been where we've spent our evenings. We usually come out here um, and just enjoy it. This spot is awesome. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Brian's dad's gonna be on the road with us soon. There's gonna be room for him out here. Uh, my parents just got a camper as well, so hopefully when they come to join us, there's plenty of room for them here too. One van lifer that came and stayed only one night, um, but besides that, it's just been us. And every single time we ended up taking our bikes out, we found something new. It was always something different, even though we were in the exact same area. This area that we're in, Kanab, and we're not even in Kanab yet. We're in between Page and Kanab. It's been awesome. We were 30 minutes from Horseshoe Bend, we were 30 minutes from Antelope Canyon. Look at it, it is amazing. Just finding all these little secret things. There's a lot of trails that we wanna work up to to be able to do and then also just explore. We could probably spend a month in this area and never run out of things to do. Time to move on. St. George and Hurricane, here we come. That's right. If you like today's video and want to see more like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.